Hey all, it's the How To Guy and today I'm going to show you the difference between autofocus continuous and autofocus single shot. Also, I'm going to do some comparisons for you guys. I've got a few split screens. I went to the beach today to test this thing out and I was playing with the different modes and it's pretty interesting some of the results that I got. So stay tuned. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button. Please, I really do appreciate it and uh, thanks again. He's the How To Guy. Subscribe. First of all, how do you get to autofocus C or AFS? So on your DJI screen, all you've got to do is push down, and I think it's three to the right, two to the right, and you'll see AFC. If you hit AFC, it switches to AFS. If you hit AFS again, it switches back to AFC. Now according to DJI, AFC is used for shooting scenes with lots of motion. AFS is used when you do not have lots of motion in your scene. In AFC, the Osmo Pocket is continuously hunting for focus. This means when you're walking around and there's a little bit of light or contrast, it might start switching to focus on a different object in your scene. Um, if you have it pointed towards you, you might be in focus and suddenly if you moved it too much, it might sort of pick something else in the background that is more interesting and focus on that so it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. However, DJI Osmo have released a new firmware update which has phase detection autofocus. This means that if you focus on an object close and you pan your camera up, it'll focus pretty quickly on the, on the new object in the background in the distance. So we can test this out and in the videos today you guys will be able to see a lot of differences between AFS and AFC and without wasting your time any further, let's go. Using AFC, you can see everything's pretty much in focus in the background. If we switch to AFS, it's pretty close, but the background is a little more blurry. I don't know if you noticed that. It's focused more on me, and the background is more blurry. So just putting this in a split screen, you can see AFC on the left, AFS on the right, and they do look pretty similar. AFS looks a little bit more blurry to me. If we go to the MIMO app and we actually click a point of focus like these flowers, we'll see they're coming to focus. If I click the front of the flowers, the back of the flowers. If I click the palm in the top point of the screen, that comes into focus. So that's their autofocus system. So DJI state on their website that the AFC is better when objects are obviously in motion. So I think what they're trying to say is that when you're actually walking around and you do face tracking, it will focus things in a much better way and you'll probably get a better result than you would with AFS walking around that is. So here is a clear comparison of the background and the, the blurry background. AFC everything's pretty much in focus. AFS which is this one the background is more blurred and I am also in focus. Putting them together pretty clear there's a big difference between AFC and AFS. So this is using the normal color profile which actually came out quite nice on that day. You do have to play with Cine like and normal and yeah. So this is AFS normal color mode. Again backgrounds more blurry. This is the end of the video and if you like it then please subscribe and I'll keep making more.